All right, welcome to the Necromancer build video. This guy is ridiculously strong. I think he's either slightly stronger than a magician or he's on the same level as him because these familiars that you're going to be summoning are ridiculous. If your playstyle is to get into the action and have ridiculous minions, or you can even stand back and let them do the work, then this guy is for you. Let's get into the build. So, Blood Pack would be your base passage you have, which is all damage deal will heal your familiars for 100% of it. This is really good. Magic Life, Dom Nom Nom, and Smite. So, the reason we do Magic Life is because the main issue you're going to be facing is mana on this guy, as your summon demon costs 50 mana. And this is going to be your main damage because these guys are ridiculous. So, as to counteract the mana cost, we're going to be running Magic Life. On top of that, we're going to be running Dom Nom Nom. This is basically to get your health back because you're going to be losing a lot of life on summoning demons using your health. But familiars do heal you back with some phenomenon, hence this is why we do it. Your familiars will get back all the health you're going to be using to cast it, so you're going to be having a giant army. Lastly, we're going to be running Smite. The reason we're running Smite out of anything else is because your attacks are going to be healing your familiars and healing yourself. That's a lot of healing. And honestly, the last passive is very optional. You can either run Smite or Unstoppable Underlings, or you can even run Explosive Familiars. It's really up to you, but it's very unnecessary. The last passive isn't going to make or break your build in this case because of how strong the Necromancer already is. I choose Smite personally because I want to get the ball rolling with summoning Familiars quicker. When you first enter a dungeon and you have no corpse, you're just going to be killing things with Narcotic Lightning, which is a little bit slow, so Smite procs help like speed that up stun the corpse and then you start to snowball just a demon army all right for abilities as you already know it's going to be obviously summon demon and that's all you really need the third and fourth slot will be very optional to what you need for breaking wards because of how ridiculously strong personally i like slime slide because it makes me really fast or i can run dodge and i think i was just doing a quest to level him up but that's all there really is to the build i'll show you guys some clips of it i hope you guys enjoy All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. I definitely had a lot of fun trying it out. I think it's pretty ridiculously strong. One of the strongest forms standing up there with the dragon and the turtle and magician. I'll see you guys in the next video.